I'm Bert True with the law firm True & Associates. Let's talk about three ways that Obamacare will help the injured. There's been a lot of machination about Obamacare now that Barack Obama has been re-elected. And most people realize that now the Affordable Care Act, otherwise known as Obamacare, is here to stay. It will not be repealed. But let's look at three ways that Obamacare will help injured people. Let's say you're the most healthy person in America. You don't need health insurance and you don't want to pay for it, especially since you know that the premiums that you pay will just be used to pay benefits to others who might live unhealthy lifestyles. But then, through no fault of your own, you're injured in a car wreck. Being a smart person, you hire a lawyer and the lawyer settles your case for a tidy sum. Then you use that money to move to a new city and get a better job. Guess what? Because of your previous injury, you now have the dreaded pre-existing condition. Your new employer's health insurance plan does not have to let you purchase insurance. Obamacare, however, prevents this. The law prevents health insurance companies from denying coverage and discriminating against potential insureds due to a pre-existing condition. So you can get health insurance even after you were injured in a wreck. Here's the second way. <clears throat> Let's say you're a woman. As you know, there is one condition that only affects women. Pregnancy. Pre-existing conditions can include having had breast cancer, a C-section, or having been the victim of domestic violence or sexual assault. Health insurance companies typically charge women one and a half times the premiums that they charge men. Obamacare prevents this. Here's a third way. Your kids. Many times I get calls from young men who've been in car wrecks. They say, yeah, it was funny. I had a broken nose, but the doctor just said, take a couple aspirin, and then he kicked me to the curb. My next question is always the same. No health insurance? I'm always correct. Doctors will not admit this, but they treat patients differently based on whether or not they have health insurance. It's called a wallet biopsy. This is where they look in your wallet before treating you. They're not looking for money, they're looking for a health insurance card. Obamacare forces insurance companies to allow children to remain on their parents' health insurance plans until they are 26 years old. Maybe President Obama realizes it's going to take your kids that long to find their own job. But, in any event, having health insurance will make sure that your doctor gives you the care that you need when you're injured. And then you can hire a lawyer to negotiate with your health insurance company to reduce the amount that you have to pay them back out of your settlement. But that's a topic for another video. I'm Bert True with the law firm True & Associates. If you have a suggestion for a topic, please post it in the comments below. If you're watching on my blog, you can subscribe to my blog by email. Just click that link below that says subscribe by email. And you can follow me on Google+. Plus. This will keep you updated with new posts to the blog. And if you want to discuss something in private, you can just click that Google Voice gadget below. You enter your telephone number, and Google will connect us by telephone. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications of new videos. And you can click the links on this video to watch my law firm's television commercial or other interesting videos on personal injury, wrongful death, and medical malpractice topics. You can follow me on Twitter at Bert True and on Google Plus at Bert True. You'll get noticed when I post a new video. I'm Bert True with True and Associates.